You can control the display order of raster images by changing their plane or, when they're in a design plane, by changing their display priority. In this lesson, you will learn how to control the display order of raster images and design elements. Continuing in raster.dgn, in the display priority model, we will add a design element to the model. On the Home tab in the Placement ribbon group, select Place Block with the following tool settings. Method, Orthogonal. Area, Solid. Fill type, Opaque. Fill color, 7. Place the block so that it overlaps part of the raster image. The raster image is displayed behind the block because it is on the background plane. In the Raster Manager, click the little icon to the left of the newly attached raster reference. In the menu, select Foreground and click OK. The raster image is moved to the foreground plane and now covers the block. Click the plane icon again and select Design and OK to move the raster image to the design plane. Within the design plane, the order of raster images and design elements are determined by their display priority. Select a block with the Element Selection tool, and on the Home tab, in the Attributes group, set the priority to minus 100. Clear the selection set. The block is now displayed behind the raster image. Right-click on one of the column headers in the Raster Manager dialog and enable the Display Priority column. Change the display priority of the raster image to minus 200. Again, note the change in the display order. Note. As with all vector references, you can clip raster references or scale, move, mirror, or rotate them using the tools in the Raster Manager dialog. In this lesson, you learned how to control the display order of raster images. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.